so here is a vintage style telephone this is going to be a little bit longer video you can use any kind of box and I am using this tin box using an empty plastic box on the top of the lid to give it a shape of a telephone you can use any kind of round box or square box to make the telephone base you in take a piece of cardboard and start to cut the shape of A I have cut here many pieces and now I will stick it around the lid according to the shape of the box if you have round shape you will stick it like that and if it is square you will stick it according to the square shape here it's done now and now I have a lid from a slash cup so I will cover some newspapers inside this lid so when I stick it on the top of the box it don't bend I will take papers I will put it inside and then I will put it on top of the box now take the paper tape and stick it with the box so with hot glue it don't melt that's why I'm not using hot glue and now again I am cutting a A shape but it's a little bit a different style. Once it's done you will see what I mean. Now another piece of cardboard I will cut a half moon style these are going to be the holders for the receiver here I have cut two parts but they are quite thick here you can see they are very thick pieces and another piece straight rectangle shape I cut it it's also quite thick this rectangle piece is going to be on the top of the plastic box plastic lid I mean and then again I will secure them more with the paper tape and then those two shapes I will stick on the sides of the rectangle piece here like this Here it's done like this and now I'm using from the kinder eggs this empty plastic uh, box or whatever it is get on the center of the rectangle piece on here now cut some circles Here I have a styrofoam ball and I will cut it into half. This is going to be the part of the receiver actually so keep watching and you will understand. And now here I have Nescafe jar slit and some other uh, lid I have which I will use for the receiver again. Stick them together. And this is also going to be the part of the receiver. As I said before, keep watching. Once everything is done, you will understand what I 
was doing actually so it's hard for me also to explain everything what I am making uh, like this just I cut a shape because this is going to be the part of receiver Here on styrofoam I will cut one of the piece into a different little bit shape. One I want round and the one piece I want little bit uh, um, triangle type something like this. I have put a nail inside the cardboard piece to stick it with the styrofoam so it's hold easily it goes in easily inside the styrofoam and then I will stick it with the hot glue also here like this. Now this cardboard piece which I cut before, I will cover it with the foil like this according to the shape of the cardboard. Here I have covered both sides but a little bit thick. Once it's done you will understand what I was actually doing. So cover all this part which we cut it with the cardboard according to the shape. Cover it with the foil properly. Stick that uh, foil piece onto the styrofoam we cut it little bit different shape like this. here like this what I was doing actually and now take the other piece of the Nescafe jar lid and stick it with this and then after we will cover the uh, lid also with the foil now where we stick the cardboard piece round one I will cover those parts as well with the foil from top until the receiver part Here. Now I will fill this empty part of the lid with the foil again.
now they are done almost and now I will take uh, some tissues and white glue again my homemade glue and I will cover all the phone telephone with this uh, glue and tissues Here it's dry now and you can see I secure each and every part with uh, tissues and glue so they hold each other properly and they give some texture again and then I realized when I used this lid on top of the box it was a very high telephone so I decided to use just the lid of the box instead of the base so I will not use this I will leave it just like this. And I'm using now dark maroon acrylic paint just because of light uh, you see the shade a little bit different but it's uh, dark maroon color and then I'm dividing some parts of the telephone where I want to color different shades And for the rest of the parts, I will cover it with black acrylic paint. I'm using golden acrylic paint. While the black color is wet, I am applying the golden as well to give it a little bit different shade instead of very golden. And here now I am going to do some designing with the hot glue. I will cover almost all the phone with the hot glue. And this is depends on you. You want to put any flowers or anything you can do. I will do just designing with the hot glue. Here I have a bronze shade which is shimmery, a little bit uh, different than golden and it's very beautiful color and I will cover this the uh, glue parts with this bronze shade shimmery bronze. I found the golden part a little bit empty so I decided to do roughly designing with the hot glue. Once it's dry I will color it as well. To cover the sides of this piece, I will use some uh, black yarn. I'm going to make the dialing part the numbers. Here I have traced uh, roughly and then I will cut it according to that. Now cut these circles, round ones. Stick it on this black part. I stick this black paper on the piece of cardboard to make it thick. And I have another piece round one as well with the needle 
I uh, am using to draw on the other piece of the cardboard to have idea where I am going to cut the holes for the dialings. So like this I got it easy. Here you can see the needle points and now I will cut the rounds. Now take the piece of foil and cover all that uh, dialing part. Color this as well black color, black acrylic and apply a golden color on top of the black. Here a lid from a acrylic paint tube which I will stick in middle of this black part and then I will put this one so it's easy to move. Here I have a white bead just to cover the part of the lid of the tube For the shine and for secureness, I will use a transparent spray. And here it's done. I hope you like the tutorial. You can use any colors of your choice, only black and golden also. And I have many more ideas in my mind for the future videos. So keep watching, keep supporting, subscribe to my channel, share my videos, click on bell icon. So whenever I upload the video, you get notification. And thank you so much. Bye for now.